So first of all, let's talk about Windows error reporting. You've all seen the events, uh, whether you're using a Windows uh, 7 system or whether you're using a server system, when certain crashes occur, when certain uh, problems happen within your applications uh, or within the Windows system itself, you're going to get a message popping up that says, do you want to report this to Microsoft? Um, and so a lot of this it used to be known as Dr. Watson. So those of you from the NT4 days, you're familiar with Dr. Watson error reporting. Uh, but now we call it Windows error reporting. Um, it basically, we take the crash or the hang information, a lot of the details of that information, we put it into a report, and we have the option to send that report to Microsoft. Now, it's not supposed to include any personal details. It's just information about what's happening in memory uh, with that application. So it's a crash details report. So we have the option to send that to Microsoft. Now, as you look here, these are the settings within Control Panel for uh, on a Windows Server 2008 system, as an example, but every Windows system will have these same types of configuration choices. Do we want to, do we want to look for solutions? So when that thing pops up, do we want to send the information to Microsoft and then try to get uh, solutions? Do we want to automatically check for solutions? Uh, each time a problem occurs, ask me for check before checking for solutions. That's the default. Uh, or never check for solutions, right? So basically the idea here is not only is it sending the information to Microsoft, it's also checking to try to give you information back in terms of the solution itself. So this is what we call Windows Error Reporting. And this is what we want to configure through Ops Manager. So agentless exception monitoring. It's a little bit... Um, uh, a, a little bit of a difficult name because it, it's, it can be a little bit confusing. First of all, an exception. An exception is one of those crashes. It's a problem. It's an event that has occurred on your system where something has crashed. Dr. Watson was, was an exception manager, right? So we're not talking about making exceptions. We're talking about a crash type exception. Um, agent list means that we want to capture this information off of everybody's desktops and laptops. That's the main place that we uh, utilize this type of infrastructure. I know the screenshot I showed you was Server 2008, but the same thing is on Windows 7 or Windows Vista or even Windows XP has its own type of error reporting. So in any case, it's those systems we're interested in, but they're agentless, right? We, we probably don't have an Ops Manager agent deployed to those systems because we're using Ops Manager to manage primarily our, the servers in our data center. So therefore, the whole thing is agentless computers, meaning our laptops and our desktops, capturing exceptions or monitoring the exceptions that are happening. So we want to, what we want to do with this whole mechanism is to aggregate, uh, we want to be able to view and report on the error reports that are sent in that uh, mechanism. So instead of sending them directly to Microsoft, let's capture that information, bring it all to a central server, and manipulate the data there. Now, number one, it could simply be that we want to evaluate the data for ourselves because we do our own troubleshooting. Or number two, we might want to take that data and decide to send some of it to Microsoft or keep some for ourselves, right? Or in some cases, we may still send it all to Microsoft, but we don't want every single client computer connecting directly to Microsoft. So what we do is we reconfigure them. When they get a message like that that gives them the option to send it, they don't have the option to send it to Microsoft when they send it, they send it to our servers, right? Uh, or they don't get the option at all. It's just going to be automatic. In other words, they don't even uh, see the option. It just goes. They might see the error message, but it's already been delivered up to our servers. So we configure the client machines to forward to Ops Manager instead of to Microsoft. So a management server can then send it to Microsoft. Agentless, we can set for the... Uh, the desktop systems, not just the servers, as we were talking about. And this enables what we call client monitoring. So if you're, if you're trying to find some of this sometimes in the uh, product documentation, you could also try looking for client monitoring. This might be one of the uh, terms we're going to use for this. Ultimately, the feature is called agentless exception monitoring, or AEM. But a lot of times it will be listed as client monitoring. And then it also gathers CEIP, which is the Customer uh, Experience Improvement Program. So we're gathering up some of that information and sending it to Microsoft as well. That's the kind of information that captures uh, the overall experience data, which is memory data, system data, application performance data, um, and any feedback that we might have when something happens. We 
capture that information and send it to Microsoft so that they're in the process of making their whole um, applications and systems uh, better.